actually felt like a painter before I felt like an artist. When I left Cooper Union in its beginning of the third year and uh, went off to Italy and found a studio in Fiesley and painted this painting over here called Fiesley Studio. That's what I really, I was painting every day and seeing great art and said, this is it, I was a painter. There were many family members that helped me begin my career as an artist and continued on with galleries and other artist friends. They supported me by recommending me to show and shows. And I found that's really the best way to get into galleries or exhibit support of the other artists. I don't really have a favorite. I, uh, I do like to work in many mediums. Everything is, to me, can be beautiful. It's how you present it or how you feel about it. And I've certainly used rusted metal and scraps of fabric and dust and whatever. Even Picasso, like Guernica, really inspired me. It was at the Museum of Modern Art in those days, and you could just practically touch it if you wanted to. I mean, I'd like to survive on, on my art, but I never really thought that was why I was doing art. That was 1985. I had a graphic design studio, advertising agency, so I had tons of Pantone paper. And I thought of, well, Empress Theodora, the only visualization we have of her is a mosaic. So of course she has to be portrayed in a, as, as a mosaic, but I had all this paper and I love collage, so I created her with cut up paper. Sometimes there's a little bird in my head that says, you better stop now before you ruin it. Or if it's pre-planned, yes, that, like these pieces I knew when they were done and certain other pieces. But if it just doesn't resonate, flow, or do what I want it to do, magical, then I, then I have to keep working. And sometimes I overwork, but that's what I'm forced to do. Art for me, it keeps me in touch with the universal. There's another spirit that comes that I need to survive. And uh, it's carried me through many a difficult times, but it's also made my life more difficult. So it's a way, sometimes it's valuable, sometimes it's a pain. You know, it's like, why am I doing this? It's like I could be doing something else, but it's what keeps me going. It's my spirit, it's my soul. And there's a, there's a history of art, and I think we all hold it within us as beings that have been here for thousands of years. So I think it's part of our being.